So if you're going to do scraffito, the first part is to apply your underglaze. You could also use slip here. So I want to make sure my piece is totally dry. It's not bone dry, but it is leather hard. There's no more sticky kind of feeling of clay. I'm going to make sure the lid is tight if I want to shake this up, or you could just stir it. This is my underglaze, and you're going to brush this on. You're eventually going to need two layers. You could use a larger brush. Um, I'm using this br smaller brush because it is softer. It just is going to take more layers. Now you could do it, um, you could cover the whole piece, or you could cover sections like I've done here. Now it's shiny, so I need to let it dry. So you can see here it's almost dry. That's better, right? It's not shiny. Um, that little corner there is looking a little too damp still. If I go to brush over that, I'm just going to kind of move the same first layer around. So you want it to start to look a little um, gray and chalky before you apply your second layer. So I'm going to hair dry this one just a little bit. You could also just set it aside and work on something else. All right, and so now I'm going to apply my second layer. I went horizontally the first time, so now I'm going to go vertically. This kind of helps hide my brush strokes. If you wanted to see your brush strokes, just think about them as part of your design element. Um, in this case, am I going all the way to the edge also, right? So you have to think about your end results and how your application impacts that. For this circle, I'm just going to go in the circular shape to kind of reinforce that um, shape I'm having. And then I'm done with my second layer, and it's time to clean up. I really um, would highly recommend that you wipe the underglaze or slip, whatever you're using, off the edge of your container because um, if you don't, it just becomes harder to open it. It doesn't necessarily seal all the way, and of course, every time you open it, you kind of flake off all of this material. So just make sure that you're practicing good cleanup habits, especially in these kind of crevices. And that's it. So I'm going to let my piece dry, and then I'll move on next to my scraffito.